All right, to reach the first location, we are going to start from the giant flow tube that sticks out of the water. And from here, we are going to head about two and a half notches to the right of north until we reach the mountains. Now, when going to the mountains, you're going to want to bring a bronze tube with a drill arm. And other than that, you're also going to want to bring a stasis rifle, 100%. So you're also going to want to bring a knife and a sea line. Now, in terms of the thrust that you're going to run into here, there are two, two main thrusts you're going to run into here. So the first one are going to be warpers. Warpers can teleport you out of your bronze suit while you're sitting around like on a regular basis. So the best thing you can do is if they teleport you, you can either run away from them while you see line because they're pretty easy to outrun, or you can attack them with your knife until they take enough damage to warp away. And the other threat you're going to run into in the mountains are Reaper the Live. Now, since you're going to be in a bronze suit, there's not going to be much you can do against the Reapers. So if you do catch a Reaper like sort of coming towards you, the best thing you can probably do, what I would probably do, is hop out of your prawn suit before it gets like right on top of you and then shoot it with a stasis rod. You know, it'll be frozen and whatnot. And you'll have some time to run away. All right, then we are now in the mountains biome. So once you get into the mountains biome, you just start looking for lead deposits all around the sea floor. And as you can see, there is one right here. Set another one. Thanks, we have two deposits so far. And there's the third deposit. If you want to make the search a little easier on yourself, you can also just bring like a bunch of resources, like a little bit before you get into the biome, and then just build a scanner room, like right next to the biome, and then you can just scan for the deposit before going in so you aren't like okay and there's our fourth deposit right here on all four deposits here and i'm sure there's probably more but i'm not going to take them out oh yeah let's head on to the next spot all right to reach the next location we are going to start from the giant coral to the six of out of the water again and from here we are going to be heading about one and a half notches to the right of northwest to so reach the blood cup zone now going here you're going to want to bring basically the same thing as you did for the last spot so you're going to bring your prawn suit with this drill arm you're also going to bring a sea glide, stasis rifle, and a knife. Now, in terms of threats here, it's going to be a little bit different. So here you're going to run into warpers, which are the same as they were in the last one. So they can just teleport you out of your vehicle. If they do teleport you, you can either outrun them on sea glide, or you can attack them with a knife to take enough damage to warp away. Now, the newer threats that you're going to here are crab squids. Now, crab squids can let off sort of like an EMP attack that can disable your vehicle. And you aren't going to be able to dodge it because you're in the prawn suit. So if, it, if you do get hit by the EMP attack, you can quickly hop out of your prawn suit and then hit it, hit the crab squid with your stasis rifle because it can't disable your stasis rifle. The next threat you run into here are ampules, and ampules are a little less dangerous than crab squids only because they won't like come after you instantly. And if they do start to come near you, then hit them with your stasis rifle and freeze them because you're not going to be able to kill them because they have a lot of health. And the last threat that you'll run into here are, well not are, but there's only one here and there's a ghost leviathan in this bio. So the same thing with the reaper lies with the ghost leviathan. The best thing you can do if it starts to come after you is to hop out of your bronze suit, hit it with the stasis rifle, and then run away. Light, we are now in your blood felt zone. And we can start looking for the new lead deposit in the sea floor. I hope we have the first deposit right here. We got one so far. Well, unfortunately, it's looking like I was only able to find one deposit here because I have been looking for like six minutes now, six, seven minutes, and I haven't been able to find anything. It feels like I've looked around the entire vine. So let's go on to the next spot. All right, to reach the next location, we are going to start from the giant world tube. This is the of the water once again. And from here, we are going to east until we reach the crash zone located like basically in front of the world. Same here as you did last time. So your prawn suit with a drill arm. To get the deposits, you're also going to want to bring your stasis rifle. You don't really need the knife here, but just your stasis rifle and a sea line. And the only, the main threat that you're going to run into in this biome are Reaper Leviathans, which we talked about before already. So with the Reapers, you can either hit them with your stasis rifle and freeze them, give yourself time to run away, or you can just simply avoid them. It's pretty, you're probably going to be doing a mixture of both, to be honest. All right, now that we are in the crash zone biome, we can now start looking for a lead deposit. Right, we got one lead deposit right here, second lead deposit right here, 
There's our third lid deposit. I think this is our fourth deposit right here. I might be wrong. All right, and to reach the final location, we are going to start from the giant pool to the six above the water once again. And from here, we are going to head southwest until we reach the sparse reef. Uh, there's also, I think it's Black Pod 19, if you have that beacon, for second officer's, second officer King's location, and also call that beacon reach the sparse reef. But going here, you're going to want to bring just your prawn suit and a drill arm, and you don't really need anything special in terms of like, like you don't need your stasis rifle or anything like that because there are no hostile creatures here that you'll have to be worrying about. All right, and once we are in this biome, in the sparse reef, we can start looking for our lead deposits, like we have been doing for all the other bar. We got one deposit so far. I think that was another one. Yeah, that's okay. So we got two, two deposits so far. All right, so we got three deposits so far. Oh, and there's our fourth deposit right here. So we were able to find four deposits at the first location and four deposits at the last location. So that's nice. And that is all I have for y'all. See y'all in the next week. Peace.